All right, hello YouTube. This is Ryan, the developer of OODA. In this video, we're continuing along, taking a look at my brand new step sequencer, OODA. We're gonna take a deep dive into just talking about the sequencer settings right here. So let me just clear out uh, my sequence so I have a blank slate. The first thing is that we actually have two grids to work with. We have large, and we have small. Uh, this is really just for convenience. If you want a big sequence up to 64 steps, you can use a large grid. If you want a smaller sequence uh, up to 16 steps, you can use the small grid. And this one is, is mainly useful on the iPhone. It's the iPhone's kind of small. So let's just maybe record something in. Okay, that's pretty nice. Let's talk about what this sync voices switch does. With the sync voices switch enabled, that will cause the voices rule and pattern to reset whenever the sequencer advances to a new step. Uh, I have some demos where I kind of show this in more detail, and um, I'll talk a little bit more about that when I get to the voice panel video. But the easiest way to hear that is let's leave this off and let's set the sequencer pace to maybe quarter notes. That means the sequencer is gonna to advance to steps every quarter note, but the voice here is playing eighth notes, so we'll actually hear some notes repeated. Actually realized let's set this to 16th notes this will show it off better so we'll hit play now we see that the sequencer is moving in 16th notes but the notes are playing in eighth notes so that essentially means we're playing every other note when we hit sync voices it causes the voice pace to kind of be locked in Now, uh, what bump does, the bump action button, temporarily just inverts the sync voices setting. So if sync voices is on, bump is gonna turn it off. And if sync voices is off, bump is gonna turn it on. Uh, we have some, some directions, uh, so let's take a look at those. Forwards, backwards. Forward, backward, kind of ping pong style. Backward, forward, which is there by symmetry. It starts at the last note and comes to the first note. We have random. And we have random plus, which will play a random note, but it won't ever repeat a note, unless, of course, there's only one step in the sequence. Now, these, are, these rules are what occur when basically there are no wormholes set up. If the wormholes are set up, then those override the rules. The shift amount determines uh, the, the semitones that were shifted by when we press this shift button. We're shifting up an octave. Can go up to two octaves. Or down two octaves. Kind of nice for live interaction. Set that back to 12. Uh, the rest and skip buttons allow us to live set rests and skips. We need to press and hold and use our second hand while the rest button is held. 
skip steps just skipped altogether. The sequencer does not visit those steps. Rest steps are visited, but produce no notes. We can toggle those back on. Now, one note that I'll make since we're kind of early in this tutorial series is that if we don't like this, uh, there's a lot of this kind of press and hold and then select thing going on. If you don't really like doing that, you can go into the settings menu and you can scroll down to this persist menus and modifier setting. This is useful if you want to use UDA with one hand or maybe you're using UDA on the Mac. And you'll notice if we uh, enable that, these buttons now uh, latch down. And as long as this button is lit orange, I can set skips. And of course, they're mutually exclusive. And I can just turn that off. So if you are in the latch, or, the, or sorry, the persist uh, modifiers mode, just make sure that you're keeping track of which buttons are, are set, because it will really kind of alter the behavior of UDA. Um, depending on if you have one of these buttons set. So that's the sequencer panel. In the next video, we're going to take a look at the wormhole panel and spend some time going over the wormhole rules. We'll talk about the destination and the normal. So be sure to check that video out. Thanks for watching and have fun making music.